Antonio Brown resolved the civil lawsuit for sexual assault and rape that was filed against him September of 2019. It contributed to his very short stint in New England, and it also contributed to him not playing for anyone else in 2019 because teams weren't sure whether or not he was going to land on the commissioner exempt list. Then last year, when he was suspended eight games for other misconduct, the NFL took no action regarding this allegation in a civil lawsuit of sexual assault and rape. The case has been settled. The case is over. It never should have been filed, frankly. He should have settled it before it ever got to that point or it wouldn't have derailed his career in 2019. But now that it's over, Chris, I think it makes it more likely he'll be back this year because if that case hadn't been settled, at some point he was going to have to testify under oath. And based upon how his testimony under oath went off the rails in that lawsuit, regarding him allegedly trashing an apartment in Miami. Right. It could have gone off the rails. It could have gotten him suspended. If you go to trial and you lose, the NFL could have swooped in. They basically left the door open. And they say the door's still open. The matter's still under review. But now that that case is settled, there's not going to be any new evidence. Yeah, there's not right. going to be any new developments. I suspect they ultimately won't do anything about this specific allegation against Antonio Brown. No, I don't think so either. And I think you made the case, too, last year about you know how he's kind of served his suspension anyways with the, you know some of the other issues and everything like that. So it's like he's got some games in the bank for his, what he served for the NFL, who was probably a hair too harsh on him to begin with and, and some of that. So the, the, the big question to me is with Antonio Brown – is it going to be – who is it going to be? That's all – that's what I want to know. Who is it going to be? I do think this will open up the door finally for some more teams to feel comfortable about getting involved in the Antonio Brown, you know, a, attraction and maybe getting him on their football team. Uh, so, uh, I, I don't know. I get the feeling that the Bucks would like to kind of move on. That's just my feeling. I, I And, again, I don't know that. I'm reading between the lines – I just feel like there hasn't been any aggressive talk there out of the Buccaneers organization that way. And and I guess in my heart of hearts, I think we're going to see Antonio Brown on a new team. It's just I wonder what he'll get offered out there on the free agent market. I know that GM Jason Light downplayed the connection between the lawsuit and the lack of a contract for Antonio Brown. Frankly, I think the connection is stronger than he would acknowledge. Yeah. And now that the lawsuit's cleared away, maybe it does open the door for something other than an offer that they know he won't accept. The Seahawks thanks to Russell Wilson, mm -hmm. continue to be in the mix. I don't think the organization wants Antonio Brown, even if Russell Wilson does. Same thing with Baltimore. Lamar Jackson, Hollywood Brown, last year, stumping publicly for Antonio Brown. Ravens didn't want him. What'd they do? They went out and got Des Bryant instead as kind of a peace offering when they didn't pursue the guy that Lamar and Hollywood wanted. So I, I think the Bucks continue to be the favorite. And uh, we'll see what happens. And one last point, Chris, just so we're clear on what my belief was last year. Because the league refused to say whether or not he'd be on the commissioner exempt list in 2019, he served a 14-game unpaid suspension. Right, right. That's, so that, to me, should count for something. And that's why I think they should close the door on it. It should be over. He should be free and clear, allowed to come back pending any further misconduct in which he could engage. To his credit, he has stayed out of trouble for months yep. now. Based on 2019, I never would have thought that would happen. Here's what's going to happen now. Quick break. More PFT Live right after this. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.